Meet Mr. Evan Gilliam and Emma Botwell. Mr. Gilliam is the lead orthopedic surgeon at his hospital. Emma is his 13-year-old patient heading into her year nine. Over the past few years, her adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, AIS, has gone from mild to severe and has begun to really affect Emma's young ego. After being teased for her spine's sharper curve, Emma has turned much quieter and shyer than she used to be, almost like she's shrunken into a cocoon. But despite Mr. Gilliam's large stature and mustache, he puts her quickly at ease. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, AIS, presents in 2-4% of adolescents between the ages of 10 and 16. These cases present a multitude of challenges for both doctors and patients. For Emma, the major challenges are not just cosmetic, though it does impact her emotional and mental health. Left untreated, her spinal curvature can lead to disfiguration, and the torsion of her ribcage can damage pulmonary function. For Mr. Gilliam, the first issue is putting young Emma at ease with her condition and the next steps. A major surgery can be a scary thing, so he walks Emma and her parents through the process. The goal of corrective surgery for scoliosis is to correct the deformity caused by her spinal curvature, reducing rib hump for cosmesis, halting the progression of the curve, and bringing Emma into appropriate coronal and sagittal balance. Once he's in the procedure, Mr. Gilliam faces six main challenges. One, preventing excessive blood loss. He uses the peak plasma blade to make a clean incision that reduces scar tissue, as well as the Aquamantis system, a patented mix of radio frequency energy and saline that significantly reduces blood loss during the surgery. Two, keeping Emma clear of infection. Because Aquamantis reduces intraoperative blood loss, the risk of needing a blood transfusion and the likelihood of associated complications is reduced as well. 3. Identify anatomical landmarks for accurate screw placement. The surgical navigation system helps him make sure he knows exactly where to create the entry points for the screw insertions during the surgery. 4. Avoiding any motor or sensory injuries. Throughout the procedure, Mr. Gilliam maneuvers with NIM Eclipse to monitor Emma's spine and prevent the risk of neurological deficits. 5. Correcting her spine safely and effectively. Under NIM Eclipse monitoring, Mr. Gilliam utilizes SAS and Smart Link extenders and derotators, which give him segmental manipulation and correction of Emma's spine through a variety of configurations. Smart Link works for multiple corrections like derotation, translation, apical derotation, either segmented or end block, sharing the load in a triangulated way. And six, maintaining that correction. Luckily with ProLock and Apex rods, Mr. Gilliam can significantly increase the stiffness of the construction and avoid torsion. The CD Horizon Solera system allows Mr. Gilliam flexibility with treating a wide variety of pathologies. Thanks to his chosen set of dedicated tools and techniques, Mr. Gilliam feels confident that he has the control, technology, and peace of mind to perform a safe surgery with successful outcomes. And for young Emma, the corrective surgery has brought her out of the cocoon that her deformity encased her in. Her mother sees the change right away. Emma blossomed like a butterfly into a happy, laughing, confident teenager. To both of her parents, the difference is amazing. It's this kind of transformation that makes Mr. Gilliam's job worth doing. At Medtronic, we know how important those outcomes can be. For a listing of indications, contraindications, precautions, warnings and potential adverse events, please refer to the instructions for use.